face reality. Amen, amen, and amen. And we join our faith with those who are trusting the Lord Jesus for the fruit of the womb. With your own womb, you will carry that child. You will birth children. Great shall be your peace. And in accordance with Psalm 112, verse 2, Psalm 112, verse 2, your children shall be mighty in the land. In accordance with Isaiah chapter 54, verse 13, Isaiah chapter 54, verse 13, your children shall be taught by God, and great shall be their peace. God will bless you. He is the giver of all. And John the Baptist made it very clear in the gospel according to St. John chapter 3. He said, a person cannot receive unless it is given to them from above. From above, the king of glory, the God of wonders. The one whose name is Elohim, and I'm sure you know him. He will bless you. In the name of Jesus, the God who blessed Anna, he will bless you and he will silence your peninas in the name of Jesus. Just hang on. You are on God's mind. I have not watched the full length of this movie I only saw this clip in the movie and the moment I saw it, God burdened me. It's like God sat on me. His presence sat on me and said, my son, take this to those who are trusting me. And folks, I have learned a long time ago, when God speaks, I'd rather obey him than debate him. When God speaks, I'd rather dance in tune than face the music. God is God. I know you're saying, Pastor, I've heard so many scriptures before. I've heard what you're saying before. But I am telling you that this very moment that you are watching, God has you on his mind. And that's why he prompted me to come right away. Usually, I'll watch the full length of a movie before I you know, start to present about it. But God said, no, my son, pause right there. I want to do something mighty. 
And I know him to be the God of wonders. And, you know, there are times whereby you say, well, let me just wait till the end. Well, let me finish what I'm doing. <laughs> there are certain instructions of God whereby you've got to seize the moment and make it a monument. There are some instructions that God will give. You've got to seize the moment and make it a monument. You don't want to miss God. You will not miss God in the name of Jesus. So for those of you who are trusting God for the fruit of the womb, please be encouraged. Please be encouraged that God will have you on the mind of someone you probably haven't met me before. That shows how much more God loves you. And that even shows that God is about to fulfill his word. Do you know that most of the time, God uses strangers to bless us? The three wise men who came to give Jesus those precious gifts, they were strangers to him. Jesus had never met them. His parents, Mary and Joseph, had never met those three wise men. They were strangers, yet they were the only ones who brought gifts to baby Jesus. Where were the relatives of Mary? And where was the family of Joseph? <laughs> there are times God will use strangers to bless you. I may be a stranger to you because you've never met me before. Um, it may be that somebody shared this video because they are caring and they're selfless and you're watching and God can reveal his word through a stranger. Psalm 147, Psalm 147 verse 19 says, He has revealed his word to Jacob. The next verse, verse 20, he has done this to no one else. God can use a stranger to bring forth his word to you. Please be encouraged. I know there will be a lot of pressure on you. I know there will be a lot of mockery. There will be a lot of expectations. But stand firm and know that he is God. Stand firm and know that he is God. I don't know how this movie this movie ended because I just watched it. And when I got to that spot, God said, stop. When I got to that spot, God said, stop and bring this word to you. I don't know how the movie ended. I don't know how it will end. But concerning you, the Bible says, Ecclesiastes chapter 7, verse 8. Ecclesiastes chapter 7, verse 8. The end of a matter is greater than its beginning. It will end well for you. In the name of Jesus, God did not allow you to tune in or watch this in vain because in Isaiah chapter 45 verse 19, Isaiah chapter 45 verse 19, the Bible says, I've not called, God said, I've not called for the house of Jacob to seek me in vain. I'm not a wicked God. I'm not mean. I'm not heartless. How would I have you seek in me? How would I have you keep an appointment with me? In vain, for nothing, I am not such. And that's why he went further in Hebrews chapter 11, verse 6. Hebrews chapter 11, verse 6. God said he rewards those who diligently and earnestly seek him. Concerning this blessing, the fruit of the womb, having your own children, having, them, having children that will suck your own breasts, Continue to seek God. Continue to trust God. Continue to believe God because the God that you serve and I serve, he rewards. Mm. He rewards those who earnestly and diligently seek him. And when we talk about seeking him, no, you don't have to go from church to church. You don't have to go church hopping. You don't have to go from one prayer camp to another. You don't have to go from one prophet of God to one priest of God to one bishop to one geo. You don't have to do that because in Psalm 113, Psalm 113, I hope you have your Bible there and we're going to wrap it up. Psalm 113 verse 9, Psalm 113 verse 9, the Bible says, God settles the barren woman in her home. In her home, 
God settles the barren woman. No, she doesn't have to go from house to house. She doesn't have to run from pillar to post, prayer chapel to prayer camp, going from here to their convention to conference. She does not have to do that. The ancient of days, whose heir was able to locate you and you're able to breathe that air, his blessing and his favor can locate you where you are and he settles you in your home. As long as God is God, remain in your church home. You don't have to go running from church to church. Somebody said, oh, there's a bishop who has an anointing for pregnancy. There's another priest who, when he lays the rosary on your, on your belly, you become pregnant. I beg, be careful of what you believe. God settles the barren woman in her home. Remain faithful with God. <laughs> faithful, faithful, faithful. What does faithful mean? Make sure that you are consistent and continuous. Mm. Make sure that you are consistent and continuous in the things that God wants you to do. Make sure that you are consistent and continuous in doing the things that please God. And then finally, for husbands, brothers, you have a key role to play. I know in the African perspective, everybody thinks it's the woman's fault. But you and I, old brown man, we know it's not always a lady's fault. Sometimes it can be an issue with the man. Your relatives will not understand. The in-laws will still attack the wife. You, uh huh. We know that, and it may be, it may be that there's nothing wrong with either of you. Maybe it's just the appointed time. Galatians chapter four, verse four. Galatians chapter four, verse four. When the set time, when the set time had fully come the Son of God appeared. So between now and that set time, fully coming, not partial, fully coming, brother, stand in the gap for your wife. Continue to pray. I'm going to close with this very real life situation. About eight or so months, about eight months, less than a year into our marriage, my wife, Pastor Linda, kept on, she said, honey, I, I, I'm really concerned. Just one morning, she just came. She said, I'm really concerned. I said, what are you concerned about? She said, oh, when am I going to take in? I said, am I complaining? I said, God will do it. She said, no, but come on now. It's nearly coming up to here. And, uh, and immediately, in that moment, God instructed me on what to do. I said, all right, my wife, this, this. All right, come now. Let's pray. Immediately prayed exactly as God instructed me. In fact, the Holy Spirit prayed through me. No, I'm not talking about speaking in tongues. The Spirit of God prayed through me. We shared the grace and that was it. The following month, my wife conceived. You see, we men, we have a role to play. We're not just the head of the home, which is a good title to have, but more than the, tant the title, let us see the tangibles. Let your presence in the home be tangible. Let your relationship with God, let it be tangible for your wife to see, your family to see. We have a role to play. It's not always medical. God will strengthen you, men. Women, God will strengthen you, and we look forward to celebrating your testimony. By the grace of God, we're going to put all the details in the description link for you to watch the full length of the movie. Once again, I've not watched it, but it was important that in obedience to God, I seize the moment and make the monument. I know that it was through the wonderful platform and channel of Ruth Cadbury that this movie titled Life was made available. We celebrate Ruth Cadbury and the phenomenal work she's doing in film and movie industry. We also celebrate Nollywood. You guys are awesome. You're doing a greater work than we pastors because you tell life stories in a pictorial and visual manner. And that's more potent than just preaching. So we celebrate you, Nollywood, the producers, the directors, the recordists, all of you, 
the executive producers who make funds available, the directors, and all the wonderful actors and actresses. We say thank you. Please keep up the good work because what you do is making a difference in our lives. So please, to watch the full movie, we'll have the link in the description for this post. May the Lord bless and keep you. And we look forward to celebrating your testimony very soon. Until the next episode of Movie Preach, this is Samuel Jonathan, your loving pastor. There are books that you read and enjoy for the moment, and there are books that make an impact for a lifetime. Such are the books written by Pastor Samuel Jonathan. Some of the titles include Step Forward, The Halfmark Christian, Naming Your Child the Godly Way, Wisdom and the Fool, My Obedience Journal, Looking Through the Spectacles of God, The Careless Christian, and soon to be released, Stubbornness, The Red Carpet for Destruction. These books are purposely written to infuse, impact, and influence your walk with God for a lifetime. They come in ebook and paperback. Get yours today.